For this problem, we want to find a particular solution, xp, uh, as an equilibrium for this uh, non-homogeneous system. Um, so this problem looks pretty simple for us. Um, as we can see, this constant right here, there's no t's in it, uh, and that makes this system autonomous. Um, so our particular solution, xp, is just going to be constants. So it's going to be uh, an xp for some vector a and b. And from that, we also know that uh, xp prime is going to be 0 because the derivative of constants is just 0. Um, so we can plug these two back into our equation right here and figure out what these constants a and b are supposed to be. Uh, so we'll do that. We have 0, 0 equals the matrix 1, 2, 2, 1 times uh, our xp plus 1 minus 1. Okay, um, I'm going to move this to the other side um, to solve, um, to help us solve for xp. So that'll eventually look like this. Minus 1 and 1. Okay, so this is um, just a system of linear equations, basically, that we've seen many times. And we can solve this uh, with a matrix. Um, so uh, to solve for our a and b in that xp right there, we have a matrix that's 1, 2, minus 1, and 2, 1, 1, where that's our little dividing line between our, uh, our solutions and our variables. And now we're just going to get into uh, the reduced row echelon form um, to figure out what our values are. So I'll start with row 2 minus 2 times row 1. That should get rid of this too. Two minus that. One minus two times two. That's one minus four, or negative three. And that should be uh, positive three. Is one uh, plus two. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, divide this by negative three. So I'll do that. And finally, I'll take row 1 uh, minus 2 row 2. And that should get rid of here. So 1, uh, 0. OK, minus 1 minus uh, 2 times minus 1. That's minus 1 plus 2. That's 1. OK, so uh, my, my a value is 1 and my b value is negative 1. So my xp is just the vector 1 minus 1. Um, yeah, so that's all we had to do. Here's our final answer. xp is 1 minus 1.